Hey guys, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is review a really good theme that I've come across recently. And it's actually designed by a couple of my friends. The review for it is here. As you can see, the theme here is called Start Right. And it's designed by my friends here. You can see them here. This is Colm and this is Simon. I've been to the last three WordCamps with them and I was at WordPress Belfast at the weekend, had a great time, and they were telling me about um, their new company. Normally, their main website is this, this is Commerce Gurus. Most of their themes focus on e-commerce, but they're great themes in their own right. They can be used for blogs, for corporate websites, etc. But they're all being sold on Theme Forest from the angle that they're for an online shop. But their new store is different. Creating Code will be selling themes directly through their own shop and they will also be releasing three designs. The first design they have released is called Start Right, and that is what my review is about. You can see the review there. Now this video is a companion for this article. I will link to this article down below in the comment area. You know, it's up to you. You can watch the video, you can read the article. I'll be covering the same information, so really up to you which you prefer to look at. Now you can see here, there's two versions, there's Start Right Free and there's Start Right Pro. So I'll just, I'll show you the, the free version first. This is the, the kind of information page for it. You can see it's responsive, it's got a beautiful design, advanced features, and you can see some other things down here as well. It's got a homepage slider, page builder, social media, through Jetpack integration, it's translation ready, and it works with the WordPress theme customizer. So, what I'll just do is show you the preview because I'll give you a better idea. You know, obviously my test website isn't set up with all the correct information. This will give you a better idea of what this theme can do. And here it is. You can see the slider here. Looks really good. So this is the home page. And you can see the footer. Now, once we start delving into this theme, you'll You'll be able to see how this is all constructed. For example, down here at the bottom, there's three columns for the footer. These are all widget zones. There's widget zones at the very top, left and right, and the top bar. There's also widget zones for the left and right of the logo. And you've got the navigation menu here as well. And um, if you kind of look through some of these pages, you can, you can start to see how this looks. Now, bear in mind, this is a free design. This is 100% free to download. They've adopted the freemium model. So, you know, for those who don't know, basically what that means is there's a version released that's free. And then if you upgrade, you'll get support, but you will also get additional features. But what I would say though is the free version is a fantastic design in its own right. And there's enough, there's enough features to encourage you to upgrade, but the... The free version is in no way limited. You can, you know, you can run your website no problem with the, the free version. It's a really good theme. And um, you can see how here, you know, what can be built using it. Now, in the free version, there is one blog template, one blog layout. This is it. Looks really good. It's got a left-hand um, sidebar here. Now, if you upgrade to the Pro version, again, I'll, I'll speak about this soon, but when you upgrade to the Pro version, you can move that sidebar to the right or remove it altogether. And you can also choose like a grid layout, etc. So what I'm going to do just now, rather than just jump to the Pro version, what I want to do is show you the free version and then jump to the preview of the Pro, Pro version and then show you the options for the Pro version. I think that's the best way to do it. So let's activate the theme. Start right here we go. You can see about the free version and the pro version here. Now, when you first install the theme, when you first activate it, you'll see a few different things. You're taken to this help page first, and you can come back to this help page at any time. It's in the appearance menu. What this does is um, it's got some links to um, it's got a link to the documentation area, which you'll find on the website. So there's, there's guides for those who use it free, but there's also some additional articles for those who have the pro version. And um, you can see here, everything is going through the theme customizer. And there's a change log that will just show you the, um, the updates that have happened to the theme, all the new features that have been added, added the um, security updates, all that kind of thing. And then there's a link to the pro version. Now, 
at the top of the page, you'll see this message here. Now, this is a common message that you will see whenever you install a new WordPress theme now. And they're recommending that you install five different plugins. And I'll do that just now. So I'll just quickly talk about what these plugins are. All of these plugins are free to download. Contact Form 7, it's the most downloaded contact form available on WordPress. Crelly Slider is a slider plugin, again, free to download. King Composer is a drag and drop page builder. That is free to download, but there is a pro version available as well. Will say though, what I will say is that the free version is, I'll show you soon, but it, it's got a huge amount of features in it. Kirky is like a developer kit that's needed for the theme to run, and then there's a one-click demo import. So, I'll just activate these just now. Um, activate them. Okay, so now all the plugins have been installed. Now, if I had to refresh the page, I should see um, the menu. The menu will change. Here we go. So we've got a King Composer menu, we've got a Crelly slider menu for because those plugins have been installed. Now, I'll just jump back to the appearance just now. The page we were on there was the help page. And if you look here, there's now a new option here because we activated that plugin that we can import the demo data. Now, I've already did this, but uh, you know I'm, I'm on a test website anyway, so I shouldn't have a problem with doing it again. And now you can see I've done it again. So that's all it is to do to import the demo data. Now, just a quick word. I mean, this is, again, this is something that I talk about in my article, but if you are going to install Start Right on a live website, personally, I wouldn't import the demo data. It's not a huge problem if you do it. You know, it's not going to it's not going to uh, cause any problems with your website. But what it does is when you import this data, it imports posts, pages. You can see all here, images, widgets and menus, etc. And I, I try and keep my website as clean as possible. So if there's pages I'm not using, I'll delete them, that kind of thing. So ideally, if you want to use the demo data, which I do recommend because it does help you get an understanding of the, th understanding of the theme, then what I would do is I would recommend um, doing it on a test website or a test WordPress installation, either locally or a, a test WordPress website that you've set up. It's up to you. Again, there's, there's not a huge deal, you know, you can, you can uh, remove the data later if necessary, but it's just easier to do this. Do it on a test website, get to know how the theme works, and then, you know, just install the theme on your live website and then edit it from there. So, as I said, everything is handled through the, the theme customizer as far as design goes. So, if I open this up, you will see what it looks like. Now, you can see there, there's an option there to upgrade. The menu there... Um, this is because I've not assigned the correct pages, etc. I've got the wrong menu set up. So this is the menu system, primary menu. What I need to do is change the menu that's being used, etc. Uh, is that changing it? Yep, there we go. I'll get rid of that crazy one. Now you can see here the search, search there. And that is because of the widgets. And here you can see the different widget zones. Top bar left, top bar right, header left, header right, page sidebar, and then three widget zones for the footer. Now you can see I've on the header right, I've got two search bars. I'll remove that one. And you can see it disappeared. Top bar right as well. What I really need to do is go in and change the home page. I'll change it. You know, because this is a home page, I've got lots and lots of different um, pages set up. You know, the, it's, it's a bit of a mess actually because I use this all the time, but um, you can see, you, you know, from here you can change anything to the home page. And then you've got the, the post page there as well. So this is where you would change the page that you want to use for your home page. Um, there, you can see this is all short codes because I've been messing around with a, a visual composer or a drag and drop page builder. So just get back here. I've got the general settings here. You've got your logo. You can upload your logo here. The copyright text. 
down the bottom here. You can change that to anything you want. I can say built by Kevin Modin if I want. Install credit. Now this is a GPL theme. You can remove the copyright if you if you want. You know it's it's always good. Um, kudos to include it. You know give something back if you're using a free design. I think it's good to do that. But you can remove it if you want. You've got the the tagline for your website. Um, if you're not using a logo. If you go back. We've got color schemes, so you can change the colors. Um, oh, that, that's changing there. So it's changing things like buttons, etc. General links, I can change that to. Yeah, so you can see the links are changing there. See them? Red, purple, there we go. General link hover. So when I hover over the link, it goes red. Things like that. I've got the top bar, you can change the colors there, the header, and the footer. So it's good, it's good that you can control the color scheme of every area. Now, in the layout area, you've got top bar settings, so you can hide the top bar if you don't want it. It's disappeared. So if you don't like the look of that, at the top, just remove it, click of a button. Footer layout is the same. There you go, there's the, the three column footer. So that's if the three widget zones have will disappear when you do that. Um, help and support is just kind of telling you where to go for support. Um, it is you know that information again is available through that other help page, and there's the menus again and the widget zones, and you can add anything you want to the widget zones. So everything that you need is through the customizer. What I'll just do, I'll go back to the main menu, and what I want to do is show you this King Composer. Now, if you've not seen this before, this is quite a cool little plugin. It's got there, you can try the pro version. And the free version though is actually really, really good. And it comes with lots of content elements. It's got a short code mapper and manager there. This is for your adding um, third party short codes. What I'll do, I'll just quickly jump into a blog post and I'll show you what this can do. So, a drag and drop page builder such as King Composer, it's not going to let you change the design of your website. That is what the WordPress theme customizer is. What this does is let you change what's in the content area. So it gives you a canvas for your page, for your content area, and you can change it. So you can see this button here, edit with King Composer. The front live ed uh, front end live editor, if you go pro with this plugin, you can um, edit it at the front end. And what we'll quickly do is just Check the pricing for that. So there you go. $29 to go pro. That's actually really, really, really good. It's very affordable. So the, I think they've made a good choice with this. And, you know, I'm not going to talk about King Composer, King Composer for a long time in this video. This is more about start right. But I will say this is it, it's very, very easy to use. You can see here, you can change columns, you know, add... New uh, rows here. This has a one, two, three, four column rows. And all you can do here, you can see here it says add element. You click on add element and you'll see all these different options. There's 39 listed here. And you've also got WordPress, default WordPress plugins here as well. So what's that? That's there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and the WordPress sidebar. So you can add additional custom sidebars in. There's clipboard functionality. And the good thing about this plugin is that you can use third-party widgets. So you can install one of thousands of pl plugins that offer uh, a widget, and then you can add it into your, your content area using King Composer. But... Just to show you some of the things, I'll show you an example. Like here's a video player. Um, you can from the media player YouTube, and you can see the different tabs up here: general, styling, animation, presets. It's pretty cool. It's it's got a lot of it's got a, a lot of really cool content elements. There's Google Maps, and um, you know I think with anything like this, this is again something I said in my article. 
with something like this, you first come to this interface and you go, right, okay, it's colourful, it looks quite easy to use, but you really do need to spend about 30 minutes, maybe an hour, going around, playing around with the design, seeing how it all works, until you get an idea how it all works. You know, a lot of these page builders work in a similar way, but the the slight differences, there's slight differences as to, you know, how they handle certain things, how they handle saving, how they handle templates, how they handle, you know, styling and things like that. Um, as you can see, you can publish and unpublish a row. Copy this row, save this row, drag and drop, row settings. You can, it says double this row, that should, it's a nice way of saying copy or duplicate. And you can delete it if you want. Um, content settings, that's for the whole page. You know, I really actually need to, I think this deserves, this, this plugin deserves a, uh, an article and a video of its own because it, you know, there's a lot to it, but I think as a recommended plugin, I think Creating Code, I think the um, Simon and Colm have did, you know, they did the right thing. This is a great little plugin. I've not spent a long time with it, but my first impressions of this is, you know, it's a very, very cool plugin and it's very, very useful for creating professional designs, simple layouts, stylish layouts, professional layouts. And the thing is, with this kind of thing, you don't have to actually use this in every page on your website. That's the thing. You can reserve it simply for, for example, your about page or your sales page or your contact page. Just make things look a little bit more professional in key key areas of your website. And that's what I think drag and drop page builders come on, you know, they come into their own. I think, you know, it would be overkill if you used it in every single post or page or custom post type on your website. Uh, that's something I should have pointed out. This will work with other post types as well. Um, I do think it would be overkill to do that, but for a page builder, it's really useful to just use it on key areas. So, like on my website here, just give you an example. I realise I'm going off on a tangent here, but it is a good point. On this page, I've you know I've used a theme, uh, drag and drop page builders to create these kind of tabs. I've got it in my guides page as well. And you can see I've actually used it here to create these kind of nice little thumbnails. And that's what I think, I think that's where page builders come into their own. I think that's where um, you really should be using them. Don't use it on every page, just use it on key areas of your website. So that's King Composer. Again, that's something you really should play around with if you install Start Right. Um, and even if you don't install Start Right, you know, check it out, King Composer. It's free to download. You'll find it through your WordPress admin area or through WordPress.org. And this is Crelly Slider. This is the other plugin that's recommended and you'll find it in your main menu once you install it and activate it. Now, I'll just edit this slider. You can see how this works. So what you do is you can add, and um, this is your main slider settings, and then when you go to edit slides, you can add slides in here. Now, this area here, this looks like this is a mistake, like what they've done, but this is actually a preview area. So if I had to go up and we see, just add a random image then you can see the image there. And it's actually bizarre. It's it's been added, it's been displayed in the middle. That didn't do that earlier. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I've maybe added too big a, an image. We'll see if we can get a smaller image. Um, maybe a little logo or something should be better. Yeah, so, ah, that's what it is, right, okay, so. That's why I didn't do that earlier. See, what it does is it puts it in the middle and then there's additional images. It's easier to, uh, additional settings. It's easier to see that here. So you've got the preview area. You can add text and image and video, etc. And then there's elements, uh, options for those elements for each one. So you can change the whatever's used here. Again, this is something you're going to have to spend an hour or so playing around with to get the most uh, out of it. But it's a good option. I mean, there's a lot of slider plugins out there, a lot of free ones, and the premium ones aren't that expensive, you know, like Revolution Slider and things. You know, they're only about $20 or so, or $25. They're not expensive. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. But this one, as a free option, this looks quite good. I do need to spend some time um, with it myself to get used to it. But, you know, it's, um, yeah, it's a good choice. It's always good when they include something that's got a lot of features. 
And that is really all there is to it. I mean, again, this is what this um, design can do. Now, now that you've looked at the back end, you should be able to get an understanding of how this is all constructed. You've got your widget areas up here. You've got your Crelly slider there. You've got your footer widgets. And along here, what you've got is content that's been created using King Composer. So you can see what the guys from Creating Code, Colum and Simon, you can see what they've done to create this beautiful page. And, you know, the mystery is gone. The beauty of that is that, you know, you can use that as a template to kind of build your own design. But I, I think this is a fantastic free design. What I will say, uh, have to say though is at the moment, this isn't available on WordPress.org. It's still in the queue and there's actually a backlog on WordPress.org for free designs. So it's been on, in the queue for about six months. It, it could be another six months before it's released. So if you want to get start right, what you need to do is you go to creatingcode.com, creatingcode.com and then from here, just go to get start right free. But now what I want to do is show you the pro version. So this is the pro version. And this page tells you all about it. This is the sales page and you can see some of the additional features here. There's a portfolio. It's been optimized for SEO. It works with through commerce, responsive, and some more things down here. WPM, so it's got, that's the WordPress translation plugin, multilingual plugin, so it has support for that. If you upgrade, what I'll do is just quickly show you the demo. The, the demo illustrates some of the new features that you will get if you upgrade to Start Right Pro. Now, I like how they did this uh, demo. They've created two demo areas. They've got one for the free version and they've got one for the pro version. That's something I really liked. It sounds like a little thing, but a lot of uh, theme developers, what they do is they offer a free version, a premium version, but they've only got one demo. And it's always the good, you know, the most expensive one, the premium option that is being displayed in the demo area. But what they've done is shown you a free demo and then this one here is clearly marked as pro. And what they've done is mark every feature that's only available in the pro version with a big pro button. Again, it sounds like a little thing, but, you know, I, I like the way that they're doing this, you know. You know, normally you look at it and go, is that free or is that the premium version? And you don't know, but this one, you know, if you look at the free demo, that's what you get with the free version. And this one, this is the pro version, this is what you get. So you can see here it's got support for WooCommerce. As I noted at the very, very start of this video, Simon and Colm have been designing WooCommerce themes for a few years now. This has been the bread and butter. This is where their expertise uh, expertise is. And you can see it there. I mean, look how this looks fantastic, you know. And this is exactly how WooCommerce would look on your website. Again, WooCommerce is a free plugin. There are a lot of premium extensions for it, but the, the core version of WooCommerce is free. So, if you upgrade to the pro version, um, I'll get the, the pricing here. Was it down at the bottom? Ah, just quickly talk about the pricing. Um, yeah, if you upgrade to the pro version, you will get WooCommerce integration. There is a portfolio feature as well. And this looks really nice. Like you can see here the names, you know, when you hover over it, it all looks really nice. And look at the transition here when you change between different sections. Looks great. Now, one of the things that I noted in my article, and I think it's a valid point, the portfolio post type is great. And it's welcomed. You know, it's always good to get more features in, you know, in the premium version. What I would say, though, is that there's a hell of a lot of free and premium portfolio plugins out there. So... Whilst it is great to have this post type included in the pro version, don't let it be a deciding factor on whether you upgrade or not. You know, it's not it's not a be-all and end-all type of thing. There's lots of alternatives. So if this doesn't do what you need or, you know, don't worry about it. There's lots of um, good portfolio plugins out there. This one looks really good as well. I just think 
there's a lot of other ones out there. There's there's so many out there that it's it's not an issue whether you whether it's included or not, if you know what I mean. But I, I do it is good to to have additional features and um it, it's it's a welcomed addition. Two more features I want to quickly talk about are the blog layouts. So this is the alternative blog layout. I'll just quickly remind you of the standard layout. So this is what the standard layout looks like. If you remember in the free version, the sidebar was on the left-hand side. We've got it in the right-hand side here. That's something you can do in the pro version. You can switch the sidebar from left to right or you can remove it. And this is what the grid layout looks like. It's in three columns. Featured images are a little bit smaller. And the other one is pretty much the same. The main difference being that there is a sidebar on the right-hand side. And for me, this, for me, this is the best. This is the best, um, the best blog structure. In my article, one of the things that I said was that it would be good to have different um, featured image sizes. So if you go to my blog, for example, I've been using 200 by 200 pixels, this kind of shape, square symbol. I've been using that for for years. I've got nearly a thousand blog posts on my blog. So it just isn't practical for me to use something like this that forces me to use a different size. So what I'd love to do is I'd love for them to add an option for different featured thumbnails, perhaps another blog structure. Just a few more options because I think for websites like myself, for blogs like myself, um, that I've got that the thumbnails are a different size. It just isn't practical to do another, you know, thousand thumbnails every time I change the theme. I don't have the time and it's pointless really because I'm spending a lot of time and I'm not making any money through it. You know, it's the sort of thing you can literally spend two weeks doing it, nothing but images and it wouldn't make a zero difference to my traffic, to my to my income. But um, this blog layout, I, I, I think looks fantastic. I really like this. This is really good. I like this a lot. So I'd like to see more options for featured images and future versions, but it's hard to grumble with what's included. This looks really good. So I'll just jump over to the pricing here. So here it's here. The, the standard one, you get a year of support and updates for one domain. 10-day money-back guarantee, and it starts at $59. Now, all of these options give you full access to the pro version of Start Right. So start rate pro, whatever license you choose, you're always going to get the same features. The premium version increases usage and um, updates and premium support for three domains. And they also install the theme for one domain. And the lifetime access removes the, um, the timeline on support and updates. It gives you a lifetime support, lifetime updates. And you can do that on an unlimited amount of domains. So that's $299. But that is really targeted towards design agencies, website design companies, that kind of thing. For most people, I think, you know, if you've just got one blog or website, this is the one you're looking at. And if you're going to, um, if you've got a few websites, it could be worth paying extra to get the premium option. And, you know, if you look at the difference in price, $30 for them to install the theme for you if you are struggling you know, if you're struggling to install it, it's not a, a huge thing. Or alternatively, drop by riseforums.com. Little plug for my forum there. Is it, installing a theme is pretty simple, but it, it, it's good that they include that for beginners. So, I've kind of went backwards there and I've told you the price first, but what I want to do now is show you the theme backend. There's not a lot of differences, really, between these two themes as far as managing the theme. When you activate Start Right Pro, it uses the exact same plugins, the exact same menus, the exact same widget zones. Nothing's really changed. If you look in the settings area here, you've still got this help page. The only difference is you've got this theme license key, and that's it. You've still got the demo area. You've still got King Composer and Kelly Slider installed. The main differences here you will find through the customizer. In fact, that's a lie. Hold on, that is a lie. Um, the portfolio can't forget about the portfolio this is the portfolio post type and you can add your images to posts here through this post type 
and you can set up portfolio categories. I, I mean, again, it, it, it's simple, it works, but there are better alternatives, in my opinion. Not to criticise them, but, you know, there's there's a huge amount of portfolio plugins out there. So if you want more fun functionality, I would perhaps look elsewhere. It's still good to see included. Okay, now I'll jump to the customizer. This is where all the changes are. When you, really, if you're smart, what you would do is always install the free version. It, it makes no sense to go for the pro version first. Install the free version, get used to it, see if it does what you want, and then upgrade, and then you'll appreciate what the pro version does. Now, there's only a few different uh, extra settings here. Again, you've got the pro version, you're getting support, so you're going to get quality support, ticket support, and all that kind of thing. You're also going to get um, support for WordPress multilingual uh, plugin, W... Um, I'm getting this back to front. Multilingual, yeah, WMPL. My brain went silly there. I couldn't even th think about that. W um, WPML. MLP, WMLP. Uh, for whatever reason, my brain isn't working right now. Where is it? WPML. <laughs> You know why I was getting that mixed up? I was thinking WordPress is one one letter and then multilingual plugin. So I was thinking it was WordPress multilingual plugin. So it was WMLP. That's my defense anyway. But um, WPML is just it's a translation plugin, and it's also got support for right to left languages as well. So there's a lot of languages in Asia that that they scroll from right to left. So it has support for that as well. Now, the main differences here are a header call to action. If you can see this button down here, get in touch. In fact, what we'll do is defaulted that menu again. Um, menu locations. That's annoying me, that little. It, it always defaults to the wrong menu whenever you install a theme. Okay, so this call to action, you've seen here, get in touch. So, you know, that's useful. You can use it for someone to contact you. You could also use it for subscribe and um, you can send someone to your newsletter you could for example go f follow us and you direct someone to your Twitter page there's th there's no um, limit to what you can do it's a simple thing but it is good there's you know you can link directly to your shop and this will be displayed in your header all the time if you want you can disable it if you wish you can change the color change the text color as well Okay, yellow. So that's a really nice addition. I like that because I think I think it's good to have a call to action on a page because they're very effective at directing traffic to a, a certain page. The other um, difference here, you've got the page settings. So again, if you're on a page, should this be okay? So you've got the sidebar on the left. Now we've got it in the right, and now we've removed it. That's not something you can do in the free version. So that's a nice little inclusion. And the blog listing page, again, this is, I'm not sure if I've assigned, I've not assigned the correct page yet for that. But what you can do is um, change the sidebar from left to right. You can change from a standard layout to the grid of two or the grid of three. And you can turn the featured images on and off. I'd need to go back and change the, um, the blog listing page through this part. If I've got the right page. There we go. So I'll go back and do that. So we've got the layout here. Sidebar's on the right. Sidebar's on the left. Sidebar has disappeared. We've got the standard layout. We've got grid of two. I'll put another sidebar in. And we can do a grid of three. Oh, that's great. I've not actually seen that yet. That's good. You can get a grid of three images. The sidebar, that's really good. And if you wish, you can delete them. So that just turns off the featured images. I still think, I think a grid of two with a sidebar looks the best, personally. And then you've got your footer area down here. So that is the pro version, that is Start Right Pro. And now, the real question is whether it's worth upgrading. As I said, 
from the free version to the pro version, you're getting a few different things. First, you're getting support. So if you've got a question about the theme, you can, you know, you can get help right away. And the other things would be the additional features. You've got the support for WooCommerce. You've got support for WPML. I've had, I think I've said that wrong again, haven't I? <laughs> WPML. I've got to correct WPML. Um, you've got support for WPML. You've got the portfolio post type. Again, it's not really great. Um, it's okay, but it, it's not. It shouldn't be a deciding factor. You've got the um, the header call to action button, and you've got the ability to switch your sidebars to from left to right and turn them off. And for bloggers, one of the most important things is these additional blog layouts. And I really like this one with the grid with the sidebar. But you know, it's good to have three or four different options available. And I like the fact that you can choose two or three columns and then, you know, put the sidebar left or right. You can control how it looks. So this has been Start Right. I've shown you the free version and I've shown you the pro version. And don't jump ahead and buy the pro version right away. You know, it's a great theme, but everyone has different needs. You might be using this for a business theme. You might be using this for a blog. And as I've shown you know, through here, through the online shop, Start Right makes a fantastic choice for an online shop using WooCommerce. So there's a lot of ways that you could use this. You could use it for a portfolio website, a gallery, a blog. WordPress is very versatile, so you know you can use this in lots of different ways. What I will say though is again, install the free version. There is no need to install the pro version right away. Install the free version, get used to it, play around with it. And if you want to know what the pro version has got, refer to my article, refer to my video, and refer to this sales page on creatingcode.com. Then you can decide, okay, it's worth the upgrade, or I probably don't need it because I don't need those specific features. It's, it's always good to make a, a, an informed decision with things like this, and there's no reason to just jump ahead and buy the pro version. You know, Simon and Colin, my friends, but I wouldn't advise that for anyone. Always, if there's, if there's a theme on a that has been sold on a freemium business model, always, always test it first. It gives you a fantastic opportunity to test the theme out, see if it does what you want, see if you like the options, see if you like all that. You know, um, I've been really impressed with this. And another thing I would say is I've looked at the code, had a quick look at the code earlier and everything looks fantastic. You know, I've, it's well documented. It's all, you know, using the correct functions, etc. These guys are, you know, really good at what they do. They're quite modest about it, but they are. They're fantastic. Anytime I meet them, they're these guys, you know, they're not talking about themes. They're not trying to sell themselves all the time, but they're really good at what they do and they've got a great reputation on Theme Forest and I know they're going to get a great reputation after, you know, releasing this theme on WordPress.org as well. So if you wanted to, to get in here early, I recommend checking it out. I'll include a link below to my article I'll also include a link to Creating Code's website and di directly to the free and the premium version. Check out, guys. Give it a try. And worst case scenario, you know, you try it. If the theme's not for you, then, you know, maybe try the King Composer and the Crelly Slider plugin. You know, you might find that those are useful as well. But give it a try. You know, I, I do think it's worth installing. All you have to do to install it is go to this page here. Go to the website, creatingcode.com. And then when you go to the free option, you'll see this download link. And clicking on this will start downloading the file. There we go. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. You have to put in your email address, first name and last name. And agree to the terms. And then it's a free download. Apologies. <coughs> For some reason, I thought that downloaded immediately. I must have been another theme. So, yeah, all you do is enter your email address, enter your first name. And there's terms there you can see. And download it. That's it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope I've covered everything, but time from time to time, I do miss things. So if I've, if I've missed anything, anything, please do leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. I hope you've liked this theme. I do recommend giving it a try. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider liking, sharing, or subscribing. And again, if you need any help with anything, please do drop by riseforums.com and we'll do our best to help you all. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, you've been great. Thanks.